Well, Sky 4 captured this violent crash during a police chase today in Redford Township. In fact, it all stemmed from a home invasion in Warren. And then the ensuing chase went on for miles all across Metro Detroit. When it was all over, three people were in custody thanks to a keen eye from above. Our Steve Gargiola talked to the homeowner caught in the middle of all the excitement. All that remains to do here in Redford right now is the cleanup after a high-speed chase that ended right here at this intersection. Time to haul off the stolen SUV. The three guys who were driving it have already been hauled off. It began with a home invasion in Warren and turned into a high-speed chase. Three men in a stolen SUV took off westbound on I-696. They briefly got off on Orchard Lake Road but not for long. Got on the freeway back to southbound 275, cutting people off on the shoulder, excess speeds of over 95 miles per hour. South on I-275, they hit I-96, the Jeffries, heading eastbound. At Telegraph Road, they bailed out of the freeway. He exited up on the service drive uh, a few times, ultimately coming through and running through this red light here at Telegraph and T-boning uh, this Coca-Cola truck that you see behind us here. All three suspects then bailed on, on foot. And that made for quite a surprise for neighbors who heard the crash and looked out to see what was happening. I just heard him, then he ran through my yard once I looked out the window. One of the guys jumped out of the car and ran through your yard? Oh, yeah, I saw one guy. And the uh, police followed him through your yard? Yeah, and they caught him under the, uh, a trampoline or something. He's hiding under, under a trampoline. That wasn't a good place to hide. <laughs> it's a little more excitement than you were looking for this morning. Right. I, I was in there making me some bacon and eggs. <laughs> the man just wanted to have his breakfast. He was not looking for that kind of excitement this morning. So, bottom line, nobody else on the freeway got hit, which is pretty unbelievable considering the way those guys were driving. No police officers were injured. No innocent bystanders injured. The Coca-Cola driver, a little bit shaken up. But he, too, was fine. So the bottom line, a good news ending all around in this one. Carmen? It really is, Steve. So what do we know about the three people in that car? Well, we don't know a lot about them at this point. The police have not released their names. Uh, we do know Michigan State Police have confirmed it was a breaking and entering, mm -hmm. and they were driving a stolen vehicle. None of those three were injured, but prosecutors will now start to look at all those facts, and I would imagine put together some charges. All right. Our Steve Gargiola reporting for us live.